Well, earlier in the program, we heard from Grace McDonald on a prairie chicken dance tour, and that was in a pasture just south of McCook. But the mating period for these birds does not last very long. In this segment, Grace McDonald finds out how you can catch the prairie chickens dance on the prairie. Hi, I'm Grace McDonald with Pure Nebraska, and I'm here with Carol Schleichel, who is the director of the McCook Red Willow County Visitors Bureau. How are you doing, Carol? I'm doing fine. We're having a great morning out on the prairie chicken lick. Yeah, and we're talking in kind of hushed voices because we don't want to disrupt the wilderness, but you said the greater prairie chickens aren't too disturbed. No, the, the greater prairie chickens are here doing their mating dance in this morning and every morning during the spring, and they are very driven at what they do, so there's not much we can do that disrupts them, although we do try to keep it to a minimum, the distraction for them. If people want an opportunity to come on these prairie chicken dance tours, how, how do they access that? The best way is to go to prairiechickendancetours.com, our website, to book a tour. We start taking reservations in, in early January for, for the year. Um, we usually operate eight to nine tours. We can take up to 12 people at a time. Uh, if you have a private group and want to make other arrangements um, for more people, we have taken up to 24. What kind of etiquette do people typically need to have when they're out here? Well, the, the primary thing is to dress warmly. Um, we are in an unheated blind that's open. Uh, there, is, there is no heat in here and will never be any heat. How much does this opportunity cost? It's $125 per person and that includes an orientation the night before where we tell you a little bit about what you're going to see and about the biology of the birds and then we provide transportation to the lack and breakfast following at one of our local restaurants. You also Pack these survival kits for people. Could you tell us kind of what are in them? Uh, everyone needs a little snack out here, it seems like. So we have granola bars that are made by a, a local vendor from uh, Blue Colonial Bed and Breakfast in Trenton, Nebraska, uh, along with a bottle of water, um, hand warmers, and Kleenexes. It was pretty crazy. I just I had to laugh to myself watching their feet pattern and down it's, the ground. It's crazy that it's just a two pound bird, but that you can actually hear them drumming and that's where that comes from, drumming on the ground with their feet. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.